I picked up this uh, plasma ball at a uh, thrift store. I spent a staggering one dollar for it. I think that was a good deal. I do have a larger one here. It's a seven and a half or eight inch, however they decide to measure it. Uh, but I'm not going to take it apart. I'm going to concentrate on the little one here. So let me just clean up the area for a second. So I've got the oscilloscope uh, probe uh, about three inches away from it. It's not grounded or anything. And you can see the level of the noise it's uh, putting out. Uh, it's at 30.3 uh, kilohertz with that uh, waveform. If I move my hand towards it, and I can't have both of these things in focus at the same time. Right now my finger's touching it. So the waveform changes. Move my finger away. So that's kind of neat. Uh, but it's definitely putting off a lot of noise. I'm going to move this, uh, rearrange all of this uh, so you can see the globe. Uh, but the waveform will just be in the background. I'm kind of being very careful with this because I got my poor phone there uh, too close to the big globe once and it reset. So that gives you an idea of the amount of uh, noise it's putting off. So here's with a fluorescent bulb. I definitely wouldn't want to have that uh, near very sensitive equipment. So now it's time to take it apart. And I suspect this is like just all the other ones from going back from years and years and years. So this one's uh, fairly fancy. For one dollar, all you need is four AAA batteries. It's got a power switch on this side. And it's also got, on this side, it didn't come with a power adapter, but a 6 volt uh, DC in. So you got multiple ways of uh, powering this. So, now it's time to take it apart. Oh, one other little thing. This feels like plastic. Now... If my other one from about, oh, 20 years ago had been made out of plastic, it would have survived uh, one of my uh, moving experiences. And this one didn't. But at least now I kept this one, and I've probably got a very nice sized transformer in there. So it might get used for something in the future. So let's turn this off. And if it gets too boring... I will fast forward through it. Yeah, one dollar for this, uh, that's a pretty good deal. It's amazing what you can find at thrift stores, especially in areas where uh, you got lots of uh, senior citizens who might just be downsizing a tiny bit. I have picked up uh, UV uh, light uh, for stamp collecting and rocks, etc. It's just amazing, but you have to go into the store literally every day. The stuff changes so fast. So, inside, okay, there's the power. It must, uh, when you push in the power adapter, must break this uh, contact in here. Uh, that way you don't try putting juice into the uh, AAAs. And let's see. One more. out a bit and yeah, it all slides out oh you can see in here I'll do a close-up picture um, they've coated the glass on the inside or plastic on the inside and it looks like they've got wire 
just shoved in there probably just to give an uneven uh, contact with the edges of the inside so that uh, the arc comes off at different locations. Yep. Here's the board. It's got a little sheaving to keep uh, the wire away from the side of the plastic. And the top here we have a big capacitor, 16 volt. Oh, I can read it. It says, I think it's 470 microfarads. You've got your step up transformer here. And here's the bottom. Let's get it in focus. So I'll just uh, do up a schematic of this. I think these are all pretty well the same. Uh, there's a couple capacitors, a couple resistors, uh, probably an NPN uh, trans uh, transistor there. But draw it up first. So here's the schematic for it. Uh, you have the battery over here, or the plug. Coming through, the switch is on the negative side. 470 microfarad capacitor. And then here, of course, is the transformer. So you got your primary here, which was measuring less than uh, 0.3 of an ohm. The feedback was uh, less than 0.1 of an ohm, as close as I could measure it. I couldn't get the capacitors. I wasn't going to uh, tear this apart. I kind of like it, actually. Uh, 510 uh, ohm resistor here. 1000 ohm uh, resistor here. And the D882 NPN transistor. And it has a little tab on one side. Oops, tab going through to pin two. So, basically... This just oscillates, and as this oscillates back and forth, it's inducing a bit of current in here, but a lot of step up in the voltage. There's 2.1 kilo ohms resistance here, and that means a lot and lot of very thin wires in here, lots of windings. So it steps its uh, voltage in here, probably up to two to five thousand uh, volts. I think that's what uh, they say is normal. I'm not sticking any meter up to this thing. And then when you touch your finger to the side, uh, it arcs over to you. Otherwise, it just finds another path. And of course, if the human down here is attached to it, uh, they're actually taking a tiny bit of the current through them. And they've got a res very high resistance. Oh, kind of. Uh, and about 100 picofarad uh, capacitance. The only reason I found out about this, what our capacitance is, is because I'm trying to make one of those uh, theremin uh, musical things. And I'm having a horrible time. And it probably won't work until I actually get away from the breadboard and uh, make it uh, on perf board. Uh, here is the other one, that uh, my old one that broke. Obviously, it's got a bit more stuff. Uh, it hooks up to mains. That's kind of cute. It just screws into the base. But that's this one. Bit beefier. Even comes with a fuse. Uh, this one doesn't come with a fuse. And here's the bulb. And yeah, that's plastic. And it's probably got a noble gases in here, probably neon, and they put in a few other ones for different uh, coloring effects. But that's beyond what I want to work deal with. So there it is. Same as pretty well all the other ones, and I'm pretty sure if you look back 10, 15 years, it's the same circuit. If it ain't broke, 
don't try fixing it. Have a good day. Bye.